Hi friends, welcome to today's video. We are going to be going over my very favorite picks from The Ordinary Skincare. This is a skincare line that came about Oh gosh, probably five to six years ago. I actually have been using this for that entire time. I was originally ordering it from the UK and then it, you know, kind of branched out and just came over here and it's taken everything by storm, but I do have my favorites. I also have a really comprehensive video on how to layer your skincare or how to layer the ordinary skincare. I have two of those videos, I think, but I'll make sure that I link those down below. One of them might go up here in a card right here, probably in a card so that you guys can see that. I'm going to show you eight of my very, very favorite things from The Ordinary. And I hope that you do enjoy this. If you're new to my channel, I wanna say welcome to you. Thank you for spending a bit of your day with me. Please subscribe, hit the little bell notification and the thumbs up. To all of my faithful subscribers, I always wanna tell you how much I appreciate you being here, that you are my rocks. You guys are just the ones that just have helped me so much. I'm getting so close to 50,000 and you guys are the reason that I am that far. I appreciate you being here watching my videos so faithfully, interacting with me on comments. It just makes me so happy to be a part of your lives and that you trust me with some of your beauty needs. So we're gonna get into this video all about the ordinary skincare right now. All right, I do want to just go through, here is my skincare. I do have all of the products here. I might not hold them up though. I'm going to probably put up pictures. And the reason is, is because you can get a little bit more of an insight into the actual product, what it looks like. But what I want to start out with is one that I'm out of right now. That is the 7% glycolic toner. I have used countless bottles of this and purchased it over and over again. It is a steal at this price. And that's why I've reached for it so many times also because of its highly effectiveness on aging skin. Glycolic acid is one of those acids that is so very good for turning over aged skin. Anytime you have a, a layer of dead skin or de dead skin cells that aren't off, your skin can look older. So we want to be taking that time to use a product that will turn it over in some sort of exfoliation. And that's what this is. You can use this every day. It is gentle enough. So I'm gonna now, be wearing these glasses quite a bit today because I'm gonna be talking to you and telling you exactly what's in some of these. Now, this formula, because it is an alpha hydroxy acid, an acid is going to exfoliate, of course, but what that can do is sometimes it can get your skin to be a little bit irritated anytime we're doing that. But I find that I've been able to use this every single day in the morning. And the reason is this, is because it contains Tasmanian pepper berry. It is a derivative to help reduce irritation associ associated with acid use. And it's from plants, it just helps make acids be very gentle on the skin. And I think that is so important to know about this. So you're gonna have that beautiful young skin show through if you're turning the skin over and that's why I recommend this. Now, now I also have a couple other products here from The Ordinary that I recommend for that same purpose. Purpose. This one is their 10% lactic acid serum. This now, also has the uh, pepperberry in it that does help calm the skin and soothe the skin. This one right here, I would say if you have acne prone skin, if you have skin that is menopausal and you're noticing that the hormone level is kind of being a little bit crazy with you, you might wanna go for lactic acid because it's going to do a really good job of helping those uh, purge those pores of any excess dirt, sebum, which is dead skin cells that and oil, that kind of thing. So you might wanna go for lactic acid. It might be the one that you really love. Those are things that you can use like the glycolic acid I will use on a daily basis. The lactic acid is a lot like Sunday Riley Good Genes. This is the very first ingredient that is active in Sunday Riley Good Genes. So it's pretty much a dupe for that. I've talked about this in other videos. I'll link that below too, because I do have a whole entire dupes video of The Ordinary where it dupes high-end skincare. So if you've loved the good jeans, but you really can't afford it, try this one. Trust me, you're gonna almost get the same exact results, maybe even a little bit better because you're going right to that ingredient. All right, this one right here, which has the consistency of looking like red blood in there. This is AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution from them. And again, this is another exfoliating serum that does a fantastic job. However, I will tell you that I used to could use this all the time and not have any irritation and do exactly what it says. I can't anymore, I have to be really careful. 
I, my skin has gotten sensitive since I've come into menopause. So what I do with this now is I will make sure that my face is dry because I find that if it's wet, it does a lot more stimulating. I don't know why, but I will just pat my face dry and then I'll go ahead and I'll use this product. So I will put this on. I will almost immediately have a reaction somewhere, whether it's, you know, like right around my nose here, right around my chin, somewhere's gonna start itching and that's okay. It is a product that can be very highly effective. That acid is really going to turn over quickly. So if you're somebody that gets it on and you're going, oh my gosh, that's burning, that's stinging, you might have that. I do have that now. So I only use this for like two minutes at a time sometimes even less if I'm just having a bad day. Sometimes I can get up to five minutes. Now they do say that you can use it up to 10 minutes. What I do find after I get it all off of my face is if you splash your face with a lot of water, it's going to immediately cause the acid to be neutralized. So it's not going to continue to burn your face. So if you're feeling like, you know, you're still having that tingling afterwards, just splash your face with the water. The water is going to eventually wash it all away, but it's such a good one on turning over the skin and this is one that I will do weekly every other week if you're someone that you feel like you don't have skin that really looks great right now you want more of a brightening effect you, you want, want more of a youthful glow to come through use this at least once a week maybe you can work up to two times a week because it's going to take off all the dull dead skin and that's what we take off and then the pretty new bright skin below will come and show through and that is wonderful for that all right nice cinnamide nice cinnamide is one of those products products that I would say that just about every woman out there should have in their skin routine. Why? Because this product is so good for so many different things. Niacinamide, first of all, plays so well with other skincare. It'll play good with your, if you want to use it with your retinols, with your retin-A's, it'll be okay to use that. If you want to use it with vitamin C, if you want to use it with other acids, you can use niacinamide. Why? Because it's one of those vitamin derived ingredients that is just so good to go with everything else. And it does its job. Its job is first of all to help with congestion and your pores and your texture because this will go into those pores again and it will help to pull all of the extra things out of there. And as it does that, it has a tendency to help those pores show a much more diminished appearance. And that is the beauty of niacinamide. Niacinamide has also been shown to help with wrinkles and skin hyperpigmentation and help even everything out. It can help calm your skin as well. So if you haven't started using niacinamide in your skincare, you really might wanna think about it. There is a gal here on YouTube that's a doctor and I can't remember her name right off the bat, but she did the most comprehensive video on niacinamide I have ever seen. She's a dermatologist. I will make sure I link that down below, but this is like your power pack punch for your skincare. If you're not using niacinamide, please pick up a niacinamide product and start to use it. And this one is fantastic at 10%. And I absolutely love that. All right. Another one that we're going to go on to is EUK. All right. We're going to read right off of the website what this says about EUK. This is a mimetic, meaning it mimics the super oxide dismutase. You may have heard my good friend Sherry or my good friend Penny talking about these on their channel with the spray that Nyad has, and it's a wonderful, wonderful spray, but it's $50. EUK is nowhere near that. Let me see what the price is of the EUK. This is $8.80. Now, what it does is it mimics that. So what it's going to do as an antioxidant, if I didn't say that already, that's what this is. It is a powerhouse antioxidant. So anything that comes into your, onto your skin throughout the day, it can oxidize. That means that it's going to attack your skin, pollution, um, the sun, anything is going to do damage to your beautiful skin. And for lack of a better term, oxidation is almost like poison to our skin. It really causes us to age more, all those factors, cigarette smoking, the sun, the just being outside in pollution, anything like that, you know, the smoke that everybody is experiencing with the fires, anything like that can cause the oxidation in our skin. So we need an antioxidant. And this one is the foremost, even better than vitamin C, dare I say. Because the EUK throughout the day will actually regenerate itself. 
And I'm going to say that again. This it, one throughout the day will continue to fight re free radicals all day long. It regenerates itself. It continues to build up that beautiful antioxidant that keeps us protected from all those outside pollutants and just protects our skin and does such a beautiful job. This one is one that I think is not hailed under the ordinary skincare enough. This is a fabulous, fabulous product. If you can't afford that spray that the gals are talking about so much, try this one. I will tell you though, you're going to have to mix one or two drops of this with your moisturizer. This is not in a water form. There's no water in here at all. So you're going to put this with your moisturizer. The nice thing about it is I actually did just put a couple drops on the back of my hand just a little bit ago and it goes into the skin. Now, if you find that you do have oily skin, you don't wanna use something like this, you're gonna to wanna to go more with a vitamin C product. Totally understand. If you also find that you know, it's too humid during the day. Try to put this on, let your skincare set, let your moisturizer and this set on your skin for a while, let it sink in as much as it can. Then take a, a single layer of a tissue and just dot across your, and just pat that tissue across your face. You're gonna find that this is a beautiful, beautiful product on the skin. If you're dry skin, you're gonna love this even more so gorgeous. I'm not going to take a lot of time to talk about all of the oils that come from the ordinary. Marilla oil is the one that the drunk elephant charges like $72 for. This one is like a fraction of that. I think it's under $7. We also have rosehip seed oil, which is actually derived from vitamin A. So you're going to again get the vitamin A properties, which is what Retin-A is made out of. You're going to get all of that anti-aging powerhouse with rosehip seed oil. Again, you have argon oil. If any of you are on the Josie Marin argon oil for super expensive, the argon oil from them is fantastic. It is so good for your hair and helping to repair your hair. It's a hyper moisturizer. It's really, really good. And then squalene is the other one that I want to say is good for people that have very dry skin. It, you put a couple drops of that in with your moisturizer, you are set. It is just so beautiful. All right. The next one that I want to talk about that if you do want a vitamin A that is really good for aging skin, and that is because this particular vitamin C, it's a scorbal tetrasopalmitate solution in vitamin F. Vitamin F is the oil. So we're talking about, this is a little bit more of an oily solution. There's absolutely no water in this. So you know that. But the reason that this is so good, because vitamin C again is that antioxidant. And this particular form of vitamin C is oil soluble. Like I said, it's in that vitamin F. It's a derivative of vitamin C. So it's not going to be as harsh on your skin as actual L-ascorbic acid, which is the just super potent vitamin C. Now, if you don't have problems with that, you might be able to just go with it, but this is a little bit sta more stable of a form of vitamin C, which I find is so great about it. it. It again has those same effects of being able to fight free radicals, to take care of skin, brightening effect vitamin C has on the skin. But this one is a little bit better for aging women because it does help with other things, skin softening, skin texture, skin brightness, it, even skin tone, it does help with that. Okay, so I've said enough on that one. That is my favorite vitamin C from The Ordinary. Now, okay, and then the last product that I'm gonna talk about is Grenactive Retinoid 5% in Squalene. They also do have the 2%. I use this retinoid on the days that I don't use my regular Retin-A. So I'm on the 1% of Retin-A and I'm using it twice a week right now because it is a little bit sensitizing to my skin. It's doing its job, but I can get a little bit extra sensitive to it. So I'm only using it twice a week. On my off days, I'm using this 5%. It is such a lovely, lovely product for a, an aging woman. And the reason is, is because it's different than any retinol you could get out there. And I'm gonna just read this because this is so important, I believe. It says, this product uses next generation retinoid active technologies, which have shown, been shown to achieve better reduction in signs of aging than retinol. The so, nice thing about it is it doesn't have any irritation whatsoever. This again is in an oil formula. So it doesn't have any water in it at all. So you know so that this serum is going to be just a little bit more on the oily side. I don't find that I have much of a problem with it. I'd use it at night. And that's the great thing about it is it's a very highly effective product, more so than retinol, but even 
it has less of that irritating factors because it's more stabilized or more solubilized, excuse me. And for me, this has just done such a better job than any retinol product I've ever tried. It's so much more effective. And I think that very recently that has kind of come through to you guys because a lot of you have said a lot about my skin lately. The reason being is because I really think that I can attribute that to the ordinary and that particular Granactive retinol. It's just such a good, good product. That's it for today, friends. That is everything I have about the ordinary. And I would bring in my special guest star. Yeah, this is Ollie. He is doing really, really well. He is such a good boy and he's such a lovey boy. And he is growing so fast. Don't you guys think it's just crazy how fast he's grown? But I just wanted to make sure that I brought you those products from the ordinary. If you have any questions, let me know down below. There are a lot of products from the ordinary, but these are just my favorites that I have incorporated into my skincare. All of these are wonderful. I hope that you guys did enjoy this. I am over the moon happy with I'm over the moon happy with The Ordinary. It just couldn't be a better skincare line. I've been trying to bring these to you guys. I have done Good Molecules, my favorite from Good Mo Molecules. There was five of them. I'll make sure I list that video for you down below. Everybody have a great day. I'm gonna take this little guy potty and we will talk to you later on. Bye everybody, bye.